Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. My name is Stephen Corka. One. And we're here with Ryan Stegman, ladies and gentlemen, absolute carnage artist, superior Spider-Man artist, Venom artist, Inhumans, Wolverine, X-23 you're on also, I believe. Yep. She-Hulk. She-Hulk. I mean, it, and, and one, one of, if not... Arguably the top artist in the game right now. Is the that best. a fair statement? Yeah, the best. The best. I like that. I like that. I like that. The best artist in the game right here, guys. Ryan Stegman here. Uh, and if you guys have not been reading Absolute Carnage, what the hell have you been doing? It is it is the bee's knees. It is what's happening in comics. Screw what's happening in DC Image. It's all about Absolute Carnage. Would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. I like that. Very good. Very good. Uh, so we're very excited. We're very fortunate to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, how do you like Miami, first of all? Uh, Miami's the best. Uh, the weather is way better than Michigan, where I'm from. So, perfect. You're from Michigan. And whereabouts? Uh, near Detroit. Near Detroit. Are you a Lions fan? Yes. It's okay. No worries. No worries. <laughs> have you heard about the Miami Dolphins? <laughs> yeah, you guys are worse. That is yeah, nice. So yeah, so don't, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't, don't don't worry. You're, you're, Tigers you're, are better than the or no the Tigers still still worse than the Marlins. But is that true? I don't know. I don't follow. They're both yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So r real quick, uh, let's first just talk about your history. How have you been? You've been drawing your whole life. I Absolutely, assume. Absolutely. Yeah. How did you get into the industry? So I went to college, got an English degree from Michigan State University. Uh, was an, unable to get a job with that and. Um, planned on being a comic book artist, so I started uh, putting stuff online. Uh, I did an independent book called um, Midnight Kiss for Marcosia Comics. Okay. Uh, anybody know Marcosia? Deep cut. Marcosia fans? Marcosia? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, um, And then uh, I started doing a novel adaptation for Marvel, which was called uh, Magician Apprentice, uh, based on the Raymond E. Feist novels. And uh, those were mostly for libraries, but it was for Marvel. Uh, and then, so I had Marvel editors, and then I was able to parlay that into more work at Marvel and just kept, you know, rising up the ranks. And if, if uh, you know, I did some research on you, I, I, if I recall correctly, She-Hulk was your first major book for Marvel? Yeah, I think so. Uh, my first... That was my first foray into the 616 Marvel Universe, for sure. Okay. And then after that, Incredible Hercules. Pri I had done a couple Marvel Adventures books, but, you know, those were out of continuity, so. Um, now, this is my opinion. I may be wrong. People yell at me if you think I'm wrong here, but I think your big breakout was Superior Spider-Man. What do you say? Yeah, <coughs> for sure. I mean, that was, that was the biggest... Prior to Absolute Carnage, that was definitely the biggest thing that I had. Yeah, uh, Superior Spider-Man fans, anybody out there? Yeah. Yes? Woo! Uh, I I literally I have I have met tons of people that literally picked up that book. We're not Spider-Man fans solely based on the way you drew that book. Oh, like, that's cool. Yeah, that's it's it's in it fabulous job in Superior Spider-Man. Uh, shout out to Dan Slott who did a fabulous job writing the story as well. You, uh, good guy to work with, I'm guessing. Absolutely, one of the best. Yeah. I love sure. how we're using absolute a lot. Yeah. Yes, and that <laughs> that's just subconscious. We're not even trying to. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Anyways, um, so. You're, you, are you are you joining? What are you doing? Checking scores? Well, you I'm playing. <laughs> Who? Oh, Miami. Yeah. Okay. It, FSU, dude. Okay. It's a big rivalry game. It, it's bigger Who's than. Who's winning? UM seven yeah. to zero, guys. End of the first quarter. Wait, are either of them ranked? Uh huh. Are either of them ranked? Uh no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so not that big of a deal. Yeah. Well, you're saying absolutely a lot. I drifted off a little bit. You drifted off. Do you have a question for Mr. Stegman here? I have a ton of questions. Go ahead. Uh, um, so I'm, I'm talking how much input much. do you get into the story as an artist? All of it. I make it all up, and Donnie just goes along with what I say. I no, figured. <laughs> for real, though, I do have more input on this than most books. Uh, working talk, with Donnie specifically? Yeah. Okay. We, we talk so much, and who know? Like most of the ideas are his, I would say. But I do get to throw in a, uh, a, a nugget here and there. The wings on Venom. That was Donnie. Okay. Yeah. But How'd we, you feel about that? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. That was part of the selling point good. of doing the book. It looked good. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Now, it, it, is that the case for for th that's case by case based on writer too? Like you've worked with Hickman, you work with Slot, you right. know, you work with Cates now. So you know, some give you the freedom, some don't. I'm guessing. I mean, I'm not going to name names, but for the most part, 
most of them are very communicative and and they allow you to except hickman i bet you can't understand shit he says right (laughs) hickman when you're drawing a hickman book you you i don't even know if i understand it when i'm doing it yeah and then i read it afterwards i'm like oh that does make sense you know but i'm just drawing well he said to draw this here sure (laughs) right right absolutely oh damn i did it again that was an excellent what's your other question What, what other questions no you had another one didn't you Anybody you want to work with at Marvel? Obviously, other than Zarsky, who's an amazing talent. <sighs> Why are you doing this? What are you talking about? Like, Zarsky's Daredevil. Have you read Daredevil? He's the worst. Daredevil's the He's best. He's a nightmare. He stole my podcast. Everybody knows that. Um, uh, no. <laughs> Wait, Juan, have you read Daredevil? I've I read Daredevil, no. You ever, he hasn't even read it. See, <laughs> he's talking all that shit. I'm just, talk, just, I'm just talking shit. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, as for working in Marvel, I'm I, I'm a one man uh, guy right now with Donnie. I plan on working with Donnie for a long time. Uh, I do love Jason Aaron, but um, you know he had his chance. He blew uh-huh. it. Yeah. Donnie stole me. He swept me off my feet. Is there anybody that you would want to draw? Thor. Thor. Which I guess. Which is yeah. Which I mean, Donnie didn't. It, but Donnie didn't have you know, right. Yeah, draw. Yeah. Mm. Well. Yeah. You know we've got other other. Plans. How about DC? Don't say if Batman. If you could draw one. Other than Batman. Other than Batman. Of course Batman's then, the answer. Then there's no answer. It's Batman. <laughs> Batman and Batman only. Yeah. I mean, I would. I, I, I think I could do a cool Flash, like maybe if Grant Morrison wrote it or something, but Flash is a hard one to get right. Oh, you so. like confusing writers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. But, uh, yeah, no. Uh, Flash, I think I'd do a good job on. I don't like Superman very much. He's boring. Yeah. He's stupid, but uh, Batman's the best. You know, you brought up your podcast that Chip Zdarsky stole from you briefly. Uh, tell us about your podcast. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Ryan Stegman has a podcast. It's called Stegman and Friends. Mm-hmm. It's a play on Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Right. And this is Stegman and his amazing friends. And uh, it, he brings in actual comic talent to interview, talk to. And uh, it, it's quite entertaining. If you guys aren't doing it, I suggest uh, so that you guys get, get it on your platforms, right? Yeah, we, it's super low rent. Um, the idea is that I bring the lowest energy possible to every episode. And uh, I just have my friends on. And, uh, you know, people try to steal it from me. I mean, we make so much money on it that everybody wants a piece. Of course, absolutely. But really, it's just me talking to my friends about comics that we made together and having a good time. You know, I was going to ask you how people can get into the industry, but you have a—you actually have a very informative, amazing episode on uh, on your podcast that talks about that. You you, you yeah. bring in a guest that tells people how they can break into the industry. Yeah, my friend Kenny, uh, who is right now breaking in as a writer. I mean, there's also an episode about um, breaking in as an artist, but you know, there's also episodes about breaking in as a writer. Um, you know, we're just trying to cover everything. We're we're, we're trying to figure out what the show is at the moment. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, how many episodes in are you? Do you know? 19, I think. That's a lot. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's absolutely. Yeah. So, listen, I want to I wanna ask you some first date questions, if I can, just so we can mm-hmm. get, get to know you a little better. Some simple stuff. So, like, uh, I'll look right into the camera. Uh, f- favorite movie? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Jurassic Park. Really? Okay. F- favorite Jaws. TV? Jaws. Jurassic Park. Favorite TV show? <sighs> Sopranos. Favorite comic. So, um, he's dead, right? Who? Tony. Oh, you mean because that last of the episode way they, they he gets killed, right? I don't think so. <sighs> he's li- he's going to live forever. He's going to outlive everybody. It's one of those monsters that gets to live forever. Favorite comic book that you are not involved in? <sighs> Saga? Saga. Yeah. Okay. That's a good answer. Yeah, yeah. Are you a Vaughn fan? Yes. Yeah, yeah. he's he's undoubtedly one of the best. Yeah, and oh, it's, she's awesome. Fiona, uh, yeah, yeah, Fiona's yeah. Fiona awesome. and I have so she worked at Marcosia when I did. Oh no! So shit. yeah, one of the very first co- I went to San Diego Comic Con the very first time I was published, and I met Fiona there, and she was doing a book called Done to Death, and I was doing Midnight Kiss, and uh, we hung out and like I didn't really know her work, but I remember getting the I I I, did, I hadn't looked at the book, and then I left after we had hung out all weekend with you know other people and whatever, and I looked at it and I was like. Oh my God, she's amazing! <laughs> like, I didn't realize who I was hanging out with. Yeah, yeah. and then she. Took it really works for them that I, I think the rumors are like if one of them is not available, then they just put the book on break. Yeah, sure. Right, because they want to just. Yeah. Yeah. So. Makes sense. Favorite type of music? Uh, I I like a lot of hip hop, but I also like a lot of uh, classic rock. So when you say hip hop, do we talk? Are we talking the old school hip hop, or are we talking like trap music? 
not trap so much, but you know, I like newer. I love. I, I'm a huge Con, Kanye West apologist. Oh, if anybody man. wants to debate me, okay. I'll, Cardi B, I love Cardi. I, I kept pointing out when they were playing Cardi on the strip last night. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, so like mo- a lot of new stuff too. Though. Kanye West, what do you think of his new album? I, Have you I listened like to it? it? Yeah, I got in an argument with my friend the other day who said that it wasn't good. I said, well, it is good. It's, it's just good. not great for Kanye. It's still very... Well, it's the production is still off else. the charts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You didn't um, listen to it. I did listen to it, actually. Really? I, I, a lot of hallelujahs yeah, in it. I, I'm in touch with God. It's all right. Liar. I am a lying. Anyways. Atheist shit. <laughs> it's, it, it, yeah, he's 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 a, an entity. Well, there's a whole, like, uh, have you heard the conspiracy theories about it all? Uh-uh. So he doesn't owe Jay-Z any money on it because it's a gospel album. He's trying to get around that whole thing. The, what, what I think is he's positioning himself as a deity. And that he is going to run a church, and then he's going to have no taxes. That's what I think he's doing. I know the sketch I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want to venomize Kanye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, so we got off track there. Yeah, we could, uh, yeah, yeah. I could go on all day about Kanye if yeah, you man. want to. <laughs> that, that's all you guys. Do you have anything else for Mr. Stegman here? No, no, no. I just want to mention Zarsky. <sighs> Again? I got to yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> Signing's over. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Uh, and Charles Soule, are you, go- are you cool with him again? I mean, he did screw me out of my podcast and represent me as a lawyer, but, you know, he, he and I did some good work together, so I'm going to give him a little leeway. All right. I have, I, have, I have one final question for you. I don't know if Juan does after I'm done, but my final question is this. Uh, what's after Absolute Carnage? Can, can you tell us? Can, tell can you give us a hint? I'll say Donnie and I will b- remain together as best friends forever well we like to hear that right ladies and gentlemen absolutely Juan do you have something a final question no that was ridiculous he's not going to say well no I'm, your final question I, was I'm a ask, waste I'm asking if you have a final question it's like question. when you asked Tomasi to talk shit about Bendis I, would you like to talk shit about Bendis no one will say anything bad about Bendis he doesn't have any hair well, there you, you go <laughs> yeah but you could talk bad about Bendis now. <laughs> no no That's no you can't what are you talking about <laughs> okay. what if one day they want to do Who's DC like the I know. Guy ever, I no, know. and he's a good writer too I think he's great anyways uh, any audience questions anyone have anything for Miss Stegman that they want to that they want to put live on the air look at all the shy folks Either no questions nothing they just want to get your picture and si- signature that's what they want last chance nobody going wants once. to talk about Kanye with me yeah no Kanye conversations I guess, I guess we got one we got one what do you what, want Manotas? What, what's up The question was, is when he found out that Dan Slott wanted to kill off Peter Parker and put Doc Ock in his body, what did Ryan think about that? Okay, so I had been offered, um, I had been told that I was going to be drawing Spider-Man. They did not tell me anything more than that. And then I was at C2E2 and I went out to dinner with Dan at Lou Malnati's uh, a pizza place and uh, he just started spilling everything. He told me the whole story. I remember Colin Bone was there. It was me, my editor, Colin Bone, my wife, and I can't remember who else. But at the end, like he just laid it all out, and then my head was spinning, and I was trying to figure out: Did he just say he killed Peter Parker? You know, like I still couldn't figure it out. But I didn't, you know, I I didn't want to stop his train of thought. And then we all just looked at each other afterwards, and we said, "That's amazing." <laughs> there you and go. then you know, I just kind of that was a great until, run. Yeah, it was awesome. All right. Uh, who are your influences that made you do like Venom and Carnage and so forth? The question are who are the influences that made him do Venom, Carnage, and so forth? Todd McFarlane is like the biggest influence on my whole mm-hmm. life at this point because now I'm doing what he did. You know, like that was he was the one that made me want to do this job. Uh, so he's a huge influence, and he created Venom and all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, I love Mark Bagley. I love, uh, you know, artistically, there's so many guys that I love the way that they draw these characters. But Todd and Mark would have to be A1 and A2. Anyone else, ladies and gentlemen? Any other questions? Going once, going twice. I think that's it. Uh, Juan, you have something? Anything else? No, man. No. All right, well. You want some coffee? Cuban coffee? 
Yeah, no, or some c- custom cookies you next door. Some. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that that's it for Ryan's segment here. But he's here to eight o'clock tonight, so make sure you guys come to Corker Comics in Miami to check him out. Uh, really exclusive, amazing experience with this amazing artist here. In the meantime, we're gonna get some signings done. We're gonna get some photos taken. Have a good time here at Corker Comics for Tom Pop Future and Fat Man Little Boy. I'm Stephen. One. And this is Ryan. Goodbye. Later.